Right, this time we have the last three data sets that we had uh, in the last two videos joined in one data set. As we said, it's, it's actually straightforward to, use, to uh, join them because they are of the same format and they are triples, they look exactly the same in the turtle, form, in the turtle format. So joining them is very simple. Unfortunately, we had the same prefixes for the three files, so we, there isn't much to do. We just copy and paste, you know, the body of the uh, datasets. Now, uh, we have people taking courses, and if we notice that some uh, uh, some individuals are taking, you know, more than one course, and if we try to query that dataset and you know apply this query, just say, for example, give me the first name and the last name of any you know temporary variable s who's taken a course class and he has first name and last name if we run this so this is number 94 I removed something from it I'll put it back just I'm just trying to explain something uh, the point here so 94 and turtle file 69 so we'll just I'm sorry we'll just run that uh, data is 6069 and query is e e n 094 we run it and we'll see that we have some repetition. So Cindy is repeated, and Richard is also repeated. Because if we look, have a second look at the turtle file, you can see this guy, Richard, for example, four three two. He is actually doing more than one course. That's why we have repetitions. And then nine seven seven one, Cindy, she is actually doing more than one course. That's why we have repetitions. Well, what if we want to eliminate these repetitions in in the result set or these duplicates, as you can say? That's very straightforward in Sparkle, similar to the way it is done in SQL. We just use the word, the keyword distinct. And you know, I've removed it from here. If I just put it back, I just removed it to show you how, how things are. But I just need to say select distinct. Notice it's actually uh, in capital, uh, capital case because it's actually a keyword of Sparkle. Select distinct first, last, and then where, and then the rest of it, we know how it works. Uh, uh, the uh, you know shortcut version is used here. We just save that. So that's actually the original file. Remember, if I run it again, it will actually eliminate any duplicates. If I run it again, it'll give me sort of distinct results, i.e., no uh, duplicates. And you know, by the way, uh, 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 something we didn't explain before is how do you re retrieve all the triples in uh, a data set? Well, simply just say select star. And let's say where, for example, uh, you know, we can say, for example, subject predicate, and then object, and just save it, and this will give me back all the triples if I save it. You notice I get all the triples back now, um, and I don't think there's any repetitions uh, because every entry or every line seems to be distinct unless if I say for example uh, give me let's say for example only the uh, the predicates if I say oh, give me the predicates I'll have some repetitions so I'll say just for example give me P the predicates I will have some repetitions now as you can see course title course title and then I can say no oh, distinct save run again and it will eliminate any duplicates, it will remove the repetitions and give me distinct results. I hope that makes sense. Let me return this file back to its original state. A bit of undoes, control Z, and it's back. I hope that makes sense. This is how you eliminate duplicates using the uh, keyword distinct. Nice and, e nice and easy, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, nice and easy. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.